everybody, it's Chris Van Girl Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, we are watching the sixth episode of The Legend of Vox Machina, and oh, I'm so pumped from the last two episodes that we had. They were so good. Um, they fed us well, especially as Kotoko World fans. They really fed us well. <laughs> um, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Also, actually, because I, I forgot to mention this in the last part of the episode, but... Ripley was talking about taking uh, the Cinder King somewhere, and I'm a little worried that she's talking about Whitestone. So I'm probably, I'm guessing we're probably going to get that this episode. So I'm a little stressed, but um, yeah. Either way, I'm excited because we stopped with Scanlan's Mansion. So either way, remember to like, subscribe, and comment all that good stuff. Uh, and yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, what in the hell's? How did you? How are we? Now I know what you mean. <laughs> this place is a little small, but I'm a big believer in humble beginnings. <laughs> um, wow. Oh, <laughs> well, oh now I'm excited for Mighty Nine. You guys know what I'm talking about. Coming from. All your questions <gasps> shall be answered. In song. <laughs> oh God, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's goldfish! Oh my god. <laughs> that has to be a call to this goldfish. I loved it so much! Let's go! Oh god, I'm smiling so much, it's hurting my face. Oh. Who did? Oh, Vaxodon! Oh, he's so oh, hot! Vax. Oh my Can god! <laughs> mm, just a soak. Mind if I join you? Actually, it's round. <laughs> You're so sweet. That's it's not the time. It's fine. Make Vex happy, and you'd better. <laughs> I need to rise above those feelings. Edit, and it's wonderful how you care about that her. It's so hot. It's so annoying. It's all right, though. We're cool then. <laughs> there isn't a thing between us. God, hold on! Oh, I hate these guys so much. Also, Ashley, thank you for spoiling that for us. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. Oh, that was, ah, okay, sorry. Calm down, Shiree. Oh, calm down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh. Come in. I should probably be responsible and turn in. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it's all right to allow yourself a little fun. Uh, impressive stuff back there. With the well, I'll leave you to it then. No. Yeah. Um. Night. No. <laughs> Why? Kiki, go after him. Uh, Vex. <laughs> no, please. No, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. This makes it better. That's all right. <laughs> question it but I feel good <laughs> without revenge weighing me down has forgotten what possibility felt like you have an open invitation you know if you ever care to lay down roots you are technically nobility now <laughs> that's <is> true. <laughs> true tempting though oh cuties I'll accept it but I want more Vex and Keyleth please Aww. How am I supposed to save Taldore when I can't even talk to my own fucking daughter? <laughs> oh, they don't know except for Pike. Who again? <laughs> Grog. <laughs> oh, Skinlands. Whoa, easy pal. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're not terrible. You you just care for someone other than yourself for the first time and it's freaking you out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Oh. Scanlan, fuck 
looking short of. Oh, she wanted it to be him. Oh. Stupid. Oh. God damn it, Ad, you ruined the mood. <laughs> oh. Kitties. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> It'll be nice. Oh no. Oh, cool design there. <laughs> what about the sentry? We can't just let it burn. Oh, Shit. We gotta get them out of there. Wait for me. We can't be everywhere in the city at once. Sister, we have to be. Mm. <laughs> we'll see if you can keep up. I think he can. He's a dragon. Ooh, a mini dragon. Oh no. Oh, that Kima. Oh, Kima. Have we learned any water spells yet? How's this? Oh, heck yeah. I can work with this. <laughs> Hell yeah, Kayla. Oh, Vax. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh, his wings damage. <laughs> oh, that's a big fucking problem. <laughs> hey, Grog. Oh, there she is. Being a badass. Shitcock. I am so sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Pike. Shield. Yes, Captain America, that shit. <laughs> oh, Cassandra, please be careful. Oh. Oh, thank God! Go, Grog! Oh, Jesus, that's stressing. This can't be happening. The entire city was cloaked. Freshan sold us out. There's no other explanation. Kiki's right. He had a deal. You swore you wouldn't attack while we were gone. You lied. We are, but it won't end the same. Come on, guys. Oh, but it was I mean, I understand. Not my also. doing. <laughs> Who had motive to destroy the Dorolos? No more stalling. Time's up. No, 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 no! Stop! Oh, thank God. It was Ripley. Yep, there you go. Oh. She and what of our deal? It's over. I'll see you in a mon eventually. As enemies. Just remember, when your last breath leaves your lungs, it didn't have to be like this. <sighs> Damn. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just talk for a second. I mean, she ain't wrong because I was gonna say the whole. I was about. I was gonna be like, oh my god, like look at Percy, you know, like all that stuff about like him, like not what, like feeling so light after all that vengeful like. Uh, like the vengeful journey he went on in season one and sort of like his repentance in season two and even in this season a little bit but then immediately obviously nothing against him though because I probably would have done the same thing him obviously immediately being like nope we're going after Ripley immediately like we need to get rid of her oh no I I'm now scared for the future episodes I'll talk about that after but yeah um yeah it's just interesting and also yeah in a way she's right but also it's like I understand them too like mm. but anyway I could move past this, but Ripley won't let me. Mm. So I'm not asking. I'm begging. Help me end her. Help me end the suffering of my people. Aren't you at all worried about revenge mm. clouding your judgment again? But perhaps I can finally scour them clean in Ripley's blood. <laughs> that was like the opposite, but yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> A triple episode! Bonanza, my god. Oh. oh that was great. Let's go from the the fourth fourth episode. I did really enjoy it. I think the first part half of like the episode was a little bit slow moving, obviously because they had to like get through hell and the capital to get towards Xerxes. So it was a little bit slow for me, but once they hit the road and got to like 
that part where they were running across the bridge and getting to Xerxes's like stronghold, like I think it was like the the bronze skull or something. Um, then it was like, okay, here we go. The, we're on the right track here, and it's the pace is a little bit quicker. So I really, really enjoyed that episode. And again, seeing Xerxes, oh, and the whole thing about the calamity animation. I, oh, I'm going to rewatch the episodes later tonight. That was just brilliant. Absolutely loved it. And also just the whole thing with Pike as well, because I can't, I'm trying to remember her story, because again, it was a long time ago, but like, I love her being honest and telling him that like, oh, like maybe my life would be better without the Everlight. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm questioning myself a lot. And even like seeing her throughout season one, it looks like she's questioning a lot of her belief in the Everlight and like, with what the Everlight is telling, like, you need to go this way, you need to do this, 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 this. And it's like, oh, come on, lady, like, I'm still on your path, but, like, I need to make these decisions in order to be on the own, like, the journey that I'm on. Like, I understand that I'm still, like, um, someone who believes in you, but also I want to do my thing, just support me, you know? So, yeah, I think that's such, like, a, a beautiful way they've handled that relationship between the Everlight and Pike. And yeah, again, seeing her talk about that, be honest and like tell Xerxes about her religion and versus him, who was also a holy man of redemption like her. It was, oh, it, it, I never thought seeing Xerxes and Pike together, seeing so many similarities to both of them is so good. And I loved their conversation so much. And again, it was so, again, I keep saying it, but just seeing Xerxes again, but in that form. And I was saying like his horns are like so like, ugh, like, ill-formed and just oh just so sad and then hearing his story again I was like ah. <laughs> and the brass break I was like oh my god I'm gonna cry oh my god because it's just oh I love that story so much I now want to go back and re-watch Calamity oh I might do it tomorrow while I'm painting maybe but we'll see anyway <laughs> and then yeah we get to the next episode episode five and oh we go back to Percy Vex Alora and Kima and I love that we got the flashback with Kima and Alora where you know they were they had a rocky beginning you know like they weren't friends or anything I think they were more acquaintances working together and then I, <laughs> I love how Kima goes like gets herself into danger and obviously dis like destroys their enemy and then Alora's standing there like oh like uh, like that anime look of I'm in love like we are going to get married <laughs> it's so good I love that and then even I love the almost parallel between Vex and Percy and Kima and Allura and seeing like how Vex and Percy were like no we can't be together or especially for Vex which I understand like she's like I feel like I'm bad omen to like people that I care and love I don't want to do that to you Percy and then like, but then seeing the danger that Kima and Allura get into, and both of them are like, how dare you get into that danger? But then also, I love you, like, I, I, you're so cool, and, you know, like, I think, like, this should be a balance. Like, obviously, try not to get in danger, but also, I love you, be careful, I respect you in that sort of way, and I love that so much. And I think that's why, like, I love how we got to see Vex and Percy be like, oh, actually, you know, we're not in love, but let's keep this thing going. Oh! Yay! <laughs> a little hope from after last week with all the angst. That was really nice. And oh my god, the action from that episode with the dragon and then that demon thing. I don't know what creature you call that, but that was so cool. And then just, oh, I love that shot where Kima came down and Allura's just like narrating her like, Kima, like killer of beasts or whatever it was. It was cooler than what I'm saying. And then seeing everybody like get in formation and everyone's like throwing fireballs, shooting arrows and stuff. And oh my God, the whole animation of like the tree, the root arrow, I don't know what it's called again, but the root arrow going through and then like grasping around his heart and then growing. Oh my God, it's just so iconic and so cool. I love that sort of stuff so much. And then, yeah, just oh, that episode, honestly, so far, episode five was so good in terms of action. That was insane. I absolutely loved it. And the dragon animation. I love dragons. And yeah, like I said it in that episode, but the lighting, like how he glows, like when he was like breathing in the, the ice and then he, oh, it was so cool. Oh, oh my God. And then Alara getting um, uh, injured. Oh God, my heart. I was like, please do not hurt my favorite sorceress oh I love her so much she's so cool and Kima and all the cast they're so cool anyway <laughs> and then episode six I love this episode we got a mixture of things happening here which I actually really like there was a lot of things we covered obviously we got the mansion finally Critical Role fans will obviously know that that's a very famous thing um in the show with Scanlan like he has the the 
I can't remember what it's called in the show, but it was like some something mansion. Um, and ugh, it's so cool seeing it in animation that it gets me excited for the Mighty Nine show that's also done by Critical Role that's coming out, I don't know when, but it's ex it's making me excited hopefully to see a certain other something like that, but I won't give too many spoilers away. Oh, uh, but also, yeah, just the song, Sam, as usual, amazing. The music was amazing in that section. It was so good. And seeing all the different sections, like, oh my god, actually, speaking of different sections, um, <laughs> see, the bar, the top scene, oh, they actually did it. And again, thank you, Ashley, for kind of spoiling that in the party, after party thing. <laughs> um... That was so well done, because obviously they were talking about this, if people are fans of Critical Role, they would know this. In their after-party show, they were talking about things like, oh, you know, like, we can't include everything from the original D&D &D show, that's why we have that show, but this is the animated show, this is for, like, everybody, including fans, but also people who haven't watched the show. Um, but I like <laughs> that they included that scene, because it was so iconic when it happened. Oh, the reaction at the table, and then seeing it, immediately when I saw um, Percy in the tub, I was like, oh my god, is this the scene? Like, I was, like, so excited, and then the conversation happened, I was like, yes, this is the scene. Oh, it was so good, it was so funny. Oh, the conversation between Keyleth and Vex, oh, the slow burn is killing me. I know what you guys are doing, I hate it. Oh, it's so good, though. I love Vax and Keyleth, they have such a special spot in my heart. I love them so much, that's why I'm like, oh, please, just get give us more because uh, if people have watched the show they'll understand it but oh uh, I need more um but yeah going towards the end of the episode and yeah we'll talk about Percy at the very end I think because we'll talk about everything that happened in the episode but um seeing the aftermath and them immediately blaming Raishon which again makes sense to them it's like oh my god of course she would like betray us she's the only one who knew about Whitestone or like the the way it was protected but then Oh, I love that moment where like she's turning into the dragon and everybody else is just ready to attack and Percy's just like, no, wait, it's <laughs> it was Ripley. Um, oh, that that was so iconic. Absolutely love that. And then that, oh, the ending, oh my god, with Vex and Percy. Not even in terms of just romantic, but the shot of Percy being like, oh, like I will, I will get rid of being evil, but I'm... I'm not saying it the same way, which is probably going to sound really shit as compared to what they've written, but basically he was like, oh, maybe I can get rid of this evil by <laughs> killing Ripley and then the glasses flash. Bro, <laughs> that just reminds me of season one so much. It scares the hell out of me. Every time he does that, I'm like, mm, like a little bit of demon still in you, Percy. <laughs> but yeah, talking about Percy, because I love him as a character. I've said this last time with the last three episodes. He's such a complex character, and again, I forgot to say it, Talos and Jaffe, who voices him, oh my god, so good. <laughs> He's so complex and hilarious, it's just so good the way he voices him. The com Yeah, again, like I said, the complexity of Percy, and seeing how, like, that sweet moment between him and Vex, like, in front of the fireplace, him talking about, like, I feel so light, I feel like there's hope, and I can think of the future for Whitestone, like, and Whitestone is my future, and obviously offering a place to Vex was really, really cute, um, but also, just, it's so sad, because it's like, he's this young man who's gone through so much, he lost his entire family to the Briarwoods, he was separated from Cassandra, and, like, oh, it's just so sad, and then him going through his whole revenge story, um, unintentionally becoming attached to a demon, <laughs> and then this whole stuff that happens, um, it's just really sad, really, and then him, again, I think it's, I think it's more noble than revenge this time, because he's so, I think, tainted by his past, and by what's happened to him, it's almost like a scar that he's wearing, and I love that in that shot we got to see, like, him talking about that and saying like I I want to be rid of this I want to be rid of my past and Ripley will be like the last page of this story basically of my past and I can move forward know what's gonna happen next and I'm not excited for it I think I, I think it's gonna be the next three episodes which makes me very very anxious and I'm not looking <laughs> forward to it uh, again another great three episodes absolutely loved it and again I love that we're not only getting like sort of like tragedy and angst in it but it's it's done so well that it's not just like 
one episode is tragedy, one episode is happiness, one is blah blah blah, you know, I love how every moment is sewn together so beautifully, like, there's a little bit of comedy, and then there's a little bit of joy, and it's like, romance, and action, oh, this is, oh. I feel like this is just such a perfect combination, especially for adults who like this sort of stuff, obviously, kids, don't watch this, because not for you yet, but, it's just so good, and I feel more people need to watch this show who aren't fans, like, because, even if you didn't know it was con like connected to Critical Role, I think you could definitely could get on board and just fall in love with the story of the show. It's just so good. It, I think it not only means so much to me, it means so much to everybody who cares about the characters especially and the show. So, and even the cast, like I, again, I said this, but I cut this actually from my last episode. The cast must be so bloody proud from starting off doing live shows on Twitch and whatever website they did it on and then moving to doing what they do now, live shows in different countries and then to have this, The Legend of Vox Machina, like they're in, they're uh, so blessed, so talented and they deserve this so rightly because we are so blessed to be told these stories. But anyway, I'm getting very, very sentimental. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed my reactions, crazy reactions as always. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe and comment as always. Would really appreciate the support. Um, and let me know your thoughts on the episodes. What did you guys think? Did you guys enjoy the episodes? Let me know. I'm um, just trying to think if there's anything I need to let you all know. Oh yeah, streaming tomorrow, Kingdom Hearts uh, Final Mix uh, Part 2. Uh, and we'll be moving on and playing that. And then, I'm trying to think, anything else? We have a stream on Sunday, but I'll talk about that tomorrow. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, and yeah, take care everybody. Peace and go out. <laughs>